you may have seen this during the day today, that the Saw Doctors are playing the Olympia Theatre on Saturday. And there was an announcement put out today by the Gigs Promoters, MCD, to say that they're fully aware that there's a big, big game on in Paris on Saturday night and that they didn't want to impinge on people's enjoyment of the night out. Do watch, not, do watch not spend your hard-earned money Cole. elsewhere, Richie, I believe is the message from that one. Pretty much. it's We're going to be screening the gig, or the, the game, pre-gig. In the three arena? In, no, it's the Olympia. Olympia. Okay. Yeah. So the three Olympias it is now. But yeah, they're going to be doing that live, and which will be some hooli. It will. Like Why did we win? I can't think of too many times when a game would have been screened live in the Olympia. Have you ever watched? I, that's I was trying to think. Just around it. The, 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 the last major, this used to happen a lot where games would be screened if we didn't have television coverage of it. So going back to the days of like Albania away fixtures in the qualifiers for USA 94. Right. Uh, that would have happened. There were Turkey games as well that were quote unquote closed circuits that Orti didn't agree rights Packages for is that the one where Cascarino got in a row in like Cascarino 90, got lamps, yeah. 97, I guess? Yeah, and 99? I think it was 99. It was 40 euros. Yeah, yeah. actually, you're right. It's yeah. 99. So it's happened before we've had closed circuit. I'm not sure whether you've had concerts that have, the opening act has been a game of rugby. Not, <laughs> not least of which, a rugby World Cup quarterfinal. I also feel for the acts a little bit. Now, those who are going to the Saw Doctors in all likelihood are long term Saw Doctors fans, probably couldn't get a ticket for the tent earlier this year. They're determined to go along. Doesn't matter what happens, we're here to party. But you can imagine how it could affect some acts if you've got people who've been sitting there for two and a half hours beforehand to watch a game, the result doesn't go Ireland's way, and then you have to come on stage and try and cheer everyone up. Now, I think that's the reason why this has happened, <laughs> is because um, they may have found out, the organisers, MCD, to their cost last week with certain other events that they might have been promoting, that people were more interested in watching Ireland-Scotland. 1.4 million people watching it on mm -hmm. Virgin Media would suggest that it had quite the audience and that they might have been distracted from other things.